no i'm not here to create any mischief or anything like that but i have to make that video here this need for reach the minister of El well health and wellness christopher tufton whatever his name because this is not right how can a hospital have no water how can a hospital have no water from morning my son is admitted here at the Bustamante hospital for children and there's no water nowhere on the compound not even tank nothing at all my understand if on school if water gone on school and can dismiss school and all of that but what about the hospital picnic of vomit picnic of diarrhea picnic of pee pee every one of the the bathroom they are a mess there's no water no water not the doorway may i walk up and down may i walk up and down with my son i try to look so look one pipe or something for him beard there's no water from morning from morning there's no water my sorry for him if he even want to use a bathroom me forgot left early there's no water a lot of people because pink wall put it up and a lot of people are cuss and i say Oh, me should I go buy me own water and all of that. Me not talk about for myself alone. When you look vomit, they there so. I'm in my hospital, you know. So, Pitney are coming with gastroenteritis, Pitney are vomit, Pitney have diarrhea, Pitney and one wash, Pitney one beard, people with the pandy ward. When me I say, a hospital can be out of water for not even one minute. It have to be constantly sanitizing. Then I go tell me, say, you have some people come in and say, oh, nurse and doctor can wash their hands. What about the patient? Then we are coming in with pitney touch touch everywhere. And you need to wash your pitney and you want, you did it for a whole long from morning till night. You have to want to use the bathroom. A human being when you wear drink water and we eat food. We have to want pee pee or something. And when you look, oh, it's go feel for go piss and smell the shit and smell the vomit. Every single bathroom nasty. Everyone in the kind of water and did it for, for flush nor wash your hand. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Monday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So, my peeps, I want to look on the screen right now. I covered this video a few days ago of the brutal knockings and clappings of a man from out of the homestead placed over Spanish town what them call Wandan the man them roll up on him and kickle up him skin good and proper here yeah, man may I tell you them deal with him a certain type of way and as the police would have stated that that knockings and clappings is definitely gang related so now what this morning we come to talk about another knockings and clappings are going over there yesterday morning which is said to be the reprisal for one done. So let me get into the knockings and clappings are going on yesterday morning approximately 4 or 5 a.m. Somewhere in that region then me I got tight in so we can get a full understanding of what really take place. Now a man get a portion to can up can up wounds, the police them say at his home on Pittsburgh Avenue in Homestead, St. Catherine. The police reports states that the man has been identified as 34-year-old Alonzo Bennett, otherwise called Booksy. It is further stated that the incident took place at the home of Alonzo Bennett when criminal elements from the area forced their way into his house and can him up several times to his upper body and head. He was pronounced, you know what, on the spot. The incident follows the knockings and clappings of Damian Marlin 
at an illegal party in the community last Thursday night. A knockings and clappings that the police states to be gang related. Now, Damian Marlin is the infamous Wandan presently on your screen right now. Now, Wandan is also the brother of the reputed gang leader for the wildlife gang, a man known as Fella. Now, Fella is this person on your screen who is presently among you members of the diaspora in the United States of America. He is also the brother of another reputed and well-known criminal element that continued to plague the general Spanish town era, a brother known as Big Ed. Now, this is Big Ed on your screen presently. Now, it is said that Big Ed and Alonzo Bennett, among other criminal elements, was at a party. And it is stated that Alonzo Bennett get up and left the party guy in yard. And right after that, criminal elements from rival gangs come spray the whole place. Whole heap of car the man them beat. Yeah man, and I saw one Dan end up get mash up. But other criminal elements was in close proximity. So it is not really known for sure if one Dan was the target. Or Big Ed was the target, or the other criminal elements that was in close proximity to that knockings and clappings. However, one done end up losing three pints. And all of the man them now start pre Olanzo Bennett, otherwise known as Booksy. I say, you know, so we feel like say a Booksy set up the thing, that's why him left. So we get to understand say now uh, that's why the man them go give him a white circle and nyam him food and broke the plate yesterday morning. Now that brutal knockings and clappings was carried out by the brother of Wandan and other criminal elements aligned to the wildlife gang. We are talking about Big Ed. So Big Ed lead the delegation for go slap with Alonzo Bennett. Yeah man. And of course, we all know that fella is in the United States and he is the main financer for the wildlife gang. So I just hope that the American authorities and the Jamaican authorities are working together to take out or bring to justice some of these criminal elements in the United States of America who are hell-bent on sending back funding to our island to continue to wreak havoc in these streets. So my peeps, we make we move on. So as always my peeps, in recent months we have seen an uptick in violence on the weekends when it touch Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Me I tell you my peeps, the old dirty corner boy them get grimy and this weekend was definitely one such weekend. So on a Saturday, Gunmen carried out a deadly attack in downtown Kingston, leaving two men lifeless, no longer among the land of the living. The deceased has since been identified as 61-year-old Neville Tate of West Bay Garvey in Portmore, St. Catherine, and 43-year-old Michael James, a businessman of Luke Lane in Kingston. Now, the men were fatally canned up at a juice outlet along Luke Lane. About 8 o'clock, Mr. James and Mr. Tate were at the juice outlet when two men walked up armed to the tea and started clap can in their direction. Mr. Tate later pronounced same place upon the spot whilst Mr. James lost his life whilst receiving treatment at the Kingston Public Hospital. The police are stating that there is no motive just yet for that knockings and clappings. But on the spot news media have something special for the writer now. Listen. Now you have a youth where is an aspiring top man for matches lane. A youth to them call Ode, but most people know him in the streets as Lane Tap. Because as always, the always a move under the guise of music a try to hide off them thing. 
So him have a record label with them call Lane Top Records. Now the brother there, one of the man them where I had a whole heap of the knockings and clappings them in the place. I'm going to just speak briefly upon it still, you know. Because I have something coming up, especially for that section of the Kingston Central slash Kingston Western Police Division because that kind of fall right on the border some sort of way for the Kingston Central and Kingston Western Police Division. So depending upon which side of the road a man might drop, a certain division will take it on. But the general matches lane, Luke Lane era, definitely need a little clean sweep because couple of people well drop out in a recent times, one and two little pickings, and we know you're in a body at talk about it. But on the spot news media as always, definitely have him kinda of yeah, open for all dirty kinda of boy. And you, Mr. Man, we claim to say your name, Lean Tap, your time. Is coming. So Lean Top, the man with them call Finger, the so called artist who is definitely not the smartest with them call Pippi, and of course the infamous Fry Yai. Yeah, man, Funa time is coming and coming very soon because Uno no learn, you know. Look upon the others who was in some sort of way greater. In terms of them level of badness and them status in the criminal underworld before Uno. What happened to them? Many serving a life sentence behind bars. Many in and out of jail them spend more time behind bars than where them spend a road. And a few of them spread out like a sheet. Ghana shut a country land. Why Uno think Foon M I got any different? If we not continue for walk on the same slippery slope as they did, I would advise you still, you know, as I always state, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So let us see how wise you all are, and let us see how you are gonna play your game, because the ending is imminent if you continue to live a certain life. So as Granny always say, you know, all who can hear must feel. So I could see as of today, who I go hear and who I go feel. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man. <laughs>